Hello everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what we're going to be doing is looking at seven awesome Linux terminal based applications and utilities that I use on a daily basis. Now while we're going through these seven, please put some of your favorites down below, especially if I did not mention it in this video. Now a lot of newer Linux users are kind of afraid of getting into the terminal and they don't really see a need for it. And I would just encourage you to go ahead, open it up, start playing around with it. And some of these applications may be a good starting point for you to do that. All right, so now we are in our terminal. I will note that I'm just gonna be quickly overviewing these uh, utilities or applications. This isn't gonna be a full-fledged tutorial, but down in the description below, there'll be a link to all the GitHub pages where you can go ahead and learn quite a bit about all these. And the first one we're actually gonna be starting with is Ranger. Now this is a really good terminal based uh, kind of file management system, file explorer, and you could go through and go through all your directories, open files, do just about everything you'd normally do with a file manager. There's also add-ons that add like, for example, drag and drop functionality to the terminal, to Ranger uh, specifically. But the controls are really easy. Um, right now I'm using the up and down arrows just to go through. You can see there's two columns. I'm on the middle column right now. The column right there that's changing is the actual uh, kind of directory preview. And if I go back, you can see now I have control over the two users. If I go forward, I am now in here. Folders are blue. Well, at least in my terminal, the folders are blue. Files are green. And let's say, for example, let's go into my documents. And then you can see here, if I hover over an actual file, it, will, it won't show the preview window because you'll be opening a file. You can hit over and it will open up the file. That's just the basic functionality. This, like I said, has everything a regular file manager can do, but within the terminal. So it's something that's really, really um, nice, especially if you get a hang of it. Uh, there's a bunch of different shortcut keys to do different things. Skip to the bottom, uh, go back up to the top. I don't know all of them yet. I'm still kind of learning it. It'd be really cool if I was able to switch over to this full time and just use terminal applications like this. But that was a quick overview of Ranger. Next one is a little bit more simple. We all know the remove command. If you use the remove command, it will completely delete your files off your system. No questions asked. Um, but so there's not really very much trash bin functionality within the, the terminal by default. So that is where the trash command comes in. This is a, uh, it's called trash CLI. Essentially, it just adds a lot of uh, functionality to kind of interact with your trash bin. If I go trash dash list, old OBS videos that I've recorded. Um, so you can interact with that. The one command you could do uh, trash dash restore if you want to undo something. You can remove individual files from your trash bin. You can use the trash dash put command to move things to your trash bin or my personal favorite, the trash slash empty. And then let's run the trash list again. And you can see nothing shows up. And that is trash CLI. Next up, we have kind of a two in one. This is both pfetch and neofetch. The reason why these are together is they basically do the same thing. They're created by the same developer, but uh, pfetch was written in uh, PO POSIX, I believe. And neofetch was written in bash. So if I go ahead and type in pfetch, you can see it's very, very simple. It has a uh, the Manjaro logo and a little bit of specs or a little bit of information about my system. All this on both pfetch and neofetch, which is much more familiar, much more popular. All of this is customizable, but these are two really nice uh, kind of system utility viewing applications that I would recommend you go ahead and check out. Chances are you are more aware of NeoFetch than P, uh, PFetch because we all know NeoFetch is meant to Neo flex on others to show off your system specs and whatnot. All right, so next up we're gonna be looking at probably one of my favorites and that is HTOP. HTOP is a beautiful terminal system monitor. You can see here I have all my threads for my CPU. I can monitor them. I'm running about maybe 30% on average. That's because I'm running OBS Studio. I'm using about eight gigabytes of 32 gigs of RAM. You can see my uptime, my load average, a lot of different things are here. Uh, down here are, well, is a list of all your processes. You can uh, search, filter, see a tree of all of it. Um, an example that I can give you is if I go down and find the uh, Kate, so this is Kate right here. 
Uh, I have Kate running in the background. You can kill processes through this too. So if I go back up to it and I hit F9 and enter, I've killed the process. So you could kill processes through here. Uh, there's a lot of different things you could do. If I go ahead and press F2, this will take you to a bunch of settings. So you can actually customize all the different meters and everything up there. You have various display options, so it'll actually show up. You can mess around with the colors. It has kind of a, a color scheming and theming. And then you could go ahead and customize the columns, add, remove, and change things. So there's a lot you could do with it. You can customize it almost exactly how you want it. And it's um, actually live. That's one of the differences between NeoFetch and PFetch and this, is that just gives you a quick snapshot of what was going on right once you hit this, the command. And this is updating live all the time. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit F10 saying we're done. And then F10 to close that out. Now what we're going to do is take a look at a disk usage analyzer, and this is N N C D U. You hit enter, it's going to scan your entire system and give you some uh, analysis of what directories and where the most storage is being taken up. So you can see I can scroll down. Uh, for example, let's go into my documents. You can see that I'm using 61 gigabytes from that directory. Uh, there are options to change the order and all that. If I go ahead and hit the question mark, it will gives me all the different keys and all that so I can move the uh, cursors up and down, sort by name, size, items, m time, uh, delete selected file directory so you could actually delete directories through this. Uh, hit Q to close. So for example, if I want to know why my system is uh, or what's taking up the most space on my system, I can see it's in documents. The GNOME speed test folder and the Solus video are taking up a lot of room. So these are really long um, 1080p videos, so they're going to take up some room. So if I wanted to clear some space on my computer, I now know clearing those out of my documents folder would be my best bet. And that is one of the reasons why I like the NCDU disk analyzer. So last but not least, we're going to be looking at a little utility called speed read. And this is actually a um, utility that helps you quickly read through things. Um, I created a little uh, text document that we could test this out with, and then we're going to go speed read rope.txt. And if I start that, you can see it starts at 100 and, uh, 150 words per minute, and you can see it, that's pretty quick, but it is going at a speed that you can read it very comfortably, and it kind of centers the word based on what's easier to read. I'm a college student, so I do use this a lot by copying and pasting uh, pages from my textbook and putting it in here, because um, I'm not sure if it's OCD or whatever, but I, I'm the type of person that when I read, I have to like use an index card and go down line by line, or else uh, my brain will jump all over the page. But there's some functionality here too, so if I hit the uh, brackets, you can see I'm actually speeding up the words per minute, so that's how you make it go faster and you can slow it down this way. Um, if I go ahead and stop the process real quick, I'm gonna go Control Z, and then I'm gonna go back here, and you can actually set a custom words per minute, so if you just do dash W, you can set however many words per minute you want, so for example, if I want to start out at 350, hit that, it reads it, so now you can see that it is at 350 words a minute, and then I can use those brackets to go ahead and speed it up, slow it down, there is a little glitch, it's kind of hard to pause if you actually do pause it with the space button. It does this, it does pause it technically, but hit it again and it keeps going again. And now this would normally be the end of the video, but what I'm going to do is show you an exclusive Patreon only video. I did create a Patreon to kind of help support this content, so if you're interested in that, please go support me, there'll be a link down below. One of the benefits to it will be little follow-up videos like what you're about to see, so go ahead and check that link out down below. Hello Patreon, this is a follow-up to video I'm going to upload pretty soon in regards to some terminal-based utilities and applications. Now I go over a list of seven applications that I like that are terminal-based, but in this little bonus I'm going to show you some that are just pretty cool. And the first one you might be, there's going to be three of these. Now the first one you might be familiar with it is simply Hollywood. If you type in Hollywood, it does kind of the, um, <clears throat> it looks like you're doing a lot, basically. If I zoom out here, you can see, see it a little better. Um, it just runs a bunch of a script with a bunch of different things going on. Uh, there's a world map. Uh, 
it makes it look like you're a hacker. It's pretty cool. Uh, I use this in the background of my videos a lot of the times if I'm facing away from my computer screen and I have the screen in the background, sometimes I'll full screen a terminal and throw up Hollywood. It's just really cool effect. Another one of these uh, tools that kind of does the same thing is called No More Secrets. Um, it, it adds an effect from an old uh, movie, it's called Sneakers. Speaking of, one of the commands you could use is Sneakers. So Sneakers, Enter, and you can see it's just kind of an encrypted looking uh, text blob. But if you do the uh, NMS command, it will uh, show you some stuff there too. Uh, let's open a new tab here. Another thing is called C Matrix. If you go ahead and install this and type this in the terminal, it will do the classic text falling down matrix effect. Then you could go ahead and full screen that, do whatever you want to do, and it, it just looks cool. Um, so that was those little bonuses. I will be doing more content like this. Just as a quick shout out, some other things you might want to look at is a um, application called Boxes. Um, LOL Cat is a good one. Um, and that, that's really it for now. We'll leave it at that. Um, I hope you guys have a good one. Once again, thank you so much for supporting me. Um, yeah, have, see you later. So I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek. If you're interested in the Patreon, again, the link is down below, as well as a link to my library account. If you're interested in subscribing there, I hope you have a wonderful day. If you did like this video, give it a like if you hated it. Give it a dislike comment your favorite linux terminal applications below again have a beautiful day and goodbye